lost for like i don't get it i'll tell you we, why we, you know I've, i've seen my club with with worse managers even than ten hag and man united, and man united pull up to anfield and i still have belief and and by the way the thing is this game is life and death for you it's not life and death for me that's why you should have a lot more belief than you do i'll be honest with you. that's why i have a bad feeling about the game because your whole season like sits on this game are because now you got you actually got a, a good thing for you, which is the fifth place gets Champions League. So that also adds to like the positive momentum in terms of like you can get Champions League football next season. But in terms of the FA Cup, this is the be all and end all because it's your only chance at the trophy. And for us, it's not be all and end all. For us, the, it's the, not. The, 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 I, I, I get all of that. The problem is my team has no no, no belly, no stomach. They're cowards, and we don't have much fight. The system is awful. We, le- like, I'm going to be more nervous if, if we go one nil up. I'll be more nervous than when it's nil nil. We, we, we seem to have. We're allergic to taking leads in games. Damn. I'm just genuinely worried about it. And I, well, listen, if we win, I'm going to celebrate hard because it's all we've got left. But this is why I'm so looking for, from a Man United fan perspective, the summer is so important. Starting again because it's it's, yeah, it's painful watching what we are. Right now, it's out here. Says Jesus, Terry. I, I don't know what you're saying, but this is what's crazy. Man United are awful. Me and Staffy sit here and say we're really not looking forward to these games because we're not very good, and people act like we're crazy for saying it. <laughs> you know, the worst thing I had to go through last week is that I had to wake up at 6 a.m. to watch this United game that we had last week. It was it was at is it genuinely painful because I knew that I had to wake up early. Against I knew who? I couldn't. Who did we just face? Last week, Everton. Everton two 0 I mean, we played Everton, and we needed two penalties to win. And you're asking they, me why they, I'm not they, they pass, yeah. Everton passes up the park a few weeks Tarkovsky before that. Was Fulham, 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 Fulham outclassed us, and people sit there acting like I'm. Um, and this is the problem I have with certain Man United fans online. I know they want me to speak wax lyrical about Man United in the same way as I do other teams, but I can't do that. We're not as good. It, it, it's just nonsensical to expect Man United fans to be in a good mood. Uh, this from Patrick in a good mood. This year says issue from uh, United is even before Ten Hag. This current United team has a very poor record against Liverpool. Yeah, well, it's no. not this current team, is it? Because he built this current team. He actually had a good record against them last season. He was one and one. But I mean, con- forgetting that we conceded shame. seven. Some shame and the no, well, no, listen, games, when you're talking about three, results, it is three games three. against them, one draw. Away at Anfield, one battering and then one and one victory. So it's one, one, and okay, one. Okay, so why are you both moving so scared then? There you are. It's not Point scared, to me, but listen, listen. You Let only have one loss against us in the last year, Terry. I just done the Terry on Terry. Tell me why you scared. On, hang on, no. hang on. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you the question. Let me answer, answer that question. That one defeat you gave us. What was the score? Seven nil. Yeah. Have you seen our home form this season? It's the most amount of games we've lost at home. In, in in like a hundred years, that's you add all these things together. That's why we're concerned. There's no consistency in how we play. You you you're, you're one of the first to come and say how bad we are. Now you're telling us to act as some chess. All you're trying to do is make us give it the big one, and then we'll look sure. stupid when we lose. Come on yeah, now, we're not you, you know what it is. Not, you want not. us to have blind faith, and this is what I don't appreciate. I have a bad feeling about this game because the whole your whole world is this game right now in terms of trophies. Then it, us, but, you know, no, no, but it's okay. You, you're meant to feel this way because it's the business end of the season. I've heard the Arsenal fans on the top six or whatever saying, oh, you know what? We don't care who we draw in the Champions League. We're not supposed to win it. You guys ruled it out. Blah, blah, blah. Everyone's trying to play the 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 the, the underdog now. Hamza's scared of, of Huddersfield and them every time you speak about football. None of the three big three teams want to speak with chess because they all, all want to stay humble until they see what they're actually going to win this season. But for us, you need to understand there's no reason. I'm, listen, I, 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 I would like to think that you respect me and Terry a little bit more than to think we're just sheep that yeah. walk with no with no guidance, okay? Yeah. We actually need to see stuff. I'm going to speak for myself at least. I need to see something to believe in. When I see something, I'm like, okay, I believe in X, Y, Z because this is what I see. When I see nothing, when I see Everton bossing us off the pitch last week at home, and us needing two penalties, we got done by a midfield of Garner, the Corey, and and Unana. And like, he still won really, the game. Like really, no, it doesn't matter. But that's not what I'm talking about. I am talking about the performances. Everyone comes to our ground and busts off, off the pitch. Every time we go to someone's ground, they bust us off the yeah, pitch. But this, this we win. Mark, yeah, Howard, I know it's about Howard. results. This is why we said on uh, on a given day anything can happen. We could win. But there's nothing in this current United team that fills anyone with confidence. 
I can ask anyone right now, what do you think can win you the next team? If I'm talking uh, the next game, if I'm talking to a City fan, we'll probably mention something about De Bruyne, Haaland, Bernardo, XYZ. If I talk to a, a Liverpool fan, it's like, you know what, Salah's back, this, this and that. Our midfield has been very good with McAllister and, and they'll, they'll give me reasons. Arsenal, same thing. They'll talk about Saka. They'll talk about Odegaard's form. They'll talk about Havertz scoring a few goals. You go to United, we actually don't know what to expect on the day. Like when I speak to my graphic designer, he says, who do you want on the design and the, uh, the thumbnail today? I don't know who. I don't know who because I don't know who's going to score. I had, we, we pulled up the, to this guy. I forgot who we played when Amari Forsen started. I think it was Fulham. And then Maguire is the one that scored. And that day, they spent the yeah. whole day bragging yes. about our front line being from Carrington. I don't know what's going to happen every game. Let's I put it this way. Everyone's nothing. trying to set us up here. If Liverpool lose to us, that's the embarrassing result. Liverpool that's losing that. is the embarrassing result because you're better than us by a country. Oh, my miles. God. Look at this guy, bro. Bet you're what are you shaking your head for? Let me, let me ask you a question then. So let's break this down, Hussam. Answer these questions, yes or no. Who has the better manager? Man United or Liverpool? Who has the better manager? Man United or Liverpool? Who I has the better manager? Who, no, has the better, who has the better manager? I've already said we're favourites, Terry. We are favourites. Yeah. Yeah, sure you're the favourites. You've got the better manager. You've got the better players. Better squad. The better, the better, 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 better squad. Better winning mentality. Everything that you would that you would say, who who's better on? How many how many elements would Man United win in this current era? Us beating you is embarrassing for Liverpool. But suddenly everyone's trying to change the narrative into, oh, actually, it'd be a massive uh, a, a massive sort of. Um, who if Liverpool were to go there and win? It's crazy. And he, no, you're I'm home. If cool, Man's here, then you're at home. But and have you seen our home record? Have you seen how bad we are? Why are people trying to act like Man United are good suddenly? Where, where has this come from? Every other show we're shit. Now suddenly we're good. Fuck me. The, the derby, the game, the, the game like this, all form goes out the window. Because I've seen it Nonsense. my whole life. I've always no, been now like with these the crop of players. Not with this I've, manager, I've been, these crop of players. When you don't believe in your manager, yeah, have you been, like listen to me. When you listen, don't believe in your manager, time. listen yeah. to me. When you don't believe in your manager, and you, we as United fans see this team, and we know these players have zero fight in them. We've seen it more and more and more, and time and time again, we've seen it enough. We have enough of a sample size to see that most of these players are spineless. That this manager doesn't know how to approach games. That this manager is a coward. That this manager makes the wrong decisions every game. There is zero reason where I should say, you know what. Form goes at uh, at the window because we never caught form this season. It doesn't matter. We caught form. Form zero does times not matter season. when Liverpool play Man United. Form doesn't matter whether it be at Anfield or Old Trafford. This is the biggest game in English football for a reason. I've seen my club with trash players beat your club even in your own backyard. Let's not do this. I've seen Danny Murphy free kick. You, do, but many people don't even know who Danny what, Murphy is. Yeah, so questions. So, I don't know the answer to this. What happened when you played this when Roy Hodgson was your manager? Uh, we didn't, Roy, oh, we actually lost him there. No, actually, we didn't. I don't think we played you in the, with Roy Hodgson. Uh, uh, he, got sacked. he got sacked. Kenny Daglish uh, took over. Uh, we lost 1-0 in the, in the FA Cup. I think it was Shelby who got sent off when he was he started pointing at Ferguson. He got sent off actually, FA Cup. Um we beat you three two actually in that in that game. Uh, we we did play oh, one against you. We beat, we beat we beat you three two. Just looking at who scored, that was exactly. the the the, the, the Berbatov hat trick. You, you in fairness, you scored two goals in in six minutes, which got you back in the game. The Berbatov, but we actually bullied you yeah. for the whole of that game. Um, th the point here is is that under Roy Hodgson, you guys had no faith in beating us because under him, you were a terrible team. With managers prior and managers after. You were a well-drilled team still. That's why it was more level. We're not a well-drilled team with a good system. And this is the problem why uh, the amount of Liverpool fans like uh, Travanelli and others and Maradon the Moron and these people in the comments, all we ever do is attack Man United. Suddenly today, we're a disgrace to our club because we're not giving, giving it the big one. It's crazy. When <laughs> Liverpool had Roy Hodgson as their manager, you guys weren't going anywhere feeling confident whether it was Man United or not because the football and the system was so poor. That is where we are right now. That is where I'm we not, are right I, now. I'm not saying that, Terry. I'm not saying you should give it the bigger. I'm not saying you should sit up here and go like, we're going to beat Liverpool. I'm not saying that. I'm saying this game is not a foregone conclusion. This game is the biggest game in English football for a reason. Form goes out the window. I've seen crap teams as well beat your good teams. It's So this is why I'm not sat here like going like, oh, Old Trafford away. It's the easiest game of the season.